When I was 14 years old, I had a very severe accident that put me in the hospital for over a week. The nurses were there almost all the time. Even when I didn't call, they just came and checked in. They made me feel like a human being. When I had the accident, it kind of woke me up to think about what I want to do. My eldest sister was the first to come to Worcester State. Following her was my second sister, and those were kind of the two main roads for me. Worcester State was the only school I applied to. I didn't apply anywhere else because I didn't want to go anywhere else. And I loved the campus because it was big, but not overwhelmingly big. And I know they have an amazing nursing program here. I enjoy how the nursing program takes you step by step through what nursing is like. Starting next year, I'm gonna get some clinical experience. The year after that, I'll start working in the hospital. The Xi'an Academic Achievement Award, it means a lot to me because of the fact that it's recognizing my hard work. It lets me know that the administration is paying attention to students and how hard they're actually trying. And that there's someone who decided to fund this award it means that people even that graduate from here or that move on from here, think back to how great this school was and want to help the students that are coming here. I would just have to say thank you. It's unbelievable that such an award exists. It's kind of motivation for me to strive to do my best. Ultimately, I like to have the same impact on others as the nurses that took care of me had on me. So I had taken an AP psychology class in high school and did it as my major when I got here and then kind of decided that that's not really the route I wanted to go with. You know, changing from psychology was probably the best decision that I've ever made in terms of my future just because of how much I love environmental science now and, and other sciences that go along with that. And so I've taken chemistry classes and physics classes, geography and geology. Everybody works together and you kind of stick together to get everything done and on time and it's really those um, friendships that make your experience here even better. What I love about Worcester State is how great the professors are. You can just walk in and then start talking to them, ask them questions, everything's very personable. At the end of my sophomore year, I was offered to do this research project with Professor Cook. We would go out into the field and collect all this data and kind of analyze it. Our goal with the project is to look at the sediment cores and see what causes an influx of sediment from the land. I just feel very lucky to have had the opportunity to get to experience this research. You know, I worked with, with undergrad students as well as graduate students, and that is one of the key playing factors in making me realize how much I want to expand my academic life and go into master's and PhD programs. I would like to say thank you for the grant because without it, I never would have been able to have my findings. I never would have been able to go to these conferences and meet people and network and kind of fall in love with everything that I've done over the summer. I like thinking that when I graduate, I will be able to kind of help the earth and like take care of it and uh, hopefully protect its future. My parents, they're from Colombia, Bogota, Colombia. And they decided to come here to the U.S. Um, when they're about like 27 years old so they can fulfill their American dreams of having successful lives here. I was very nervous about high school. When I reached my junior year of high school, I decided to join the um, International Baccalaureate program, which is IB. I did a Eureka, Eureka Girls Inc. program. So it's a five-year STEM program. And uh, the first two years, we visited uh, colleges around Worcester, which is state being one of them. I heard about the A Call for Teaching program um, with Dr. Lewis. And we signed up so quickly because I knew it was gonna be so great uh, to get college credits during high school. And I joined the program and I did the first year seminar. Right now I'm taking an uh, intro to psychology class. I've never done psychology before or learned anything about it, so I hope to get a lot out of this class. I think it's a great way to get a feel of what being on a college campus is like and how college classes are. So I knew that um, was just it was going to be a good fit for me and I applied and I got accepted. Whenever I walk through the halls here I see lots of posters and signs about different kinds of clubs and activities and events going on. I am bilingual so I want to probably join like a Spanish club and maybe even get to study abroad with them. I would like to thank the Worcester State Foundation Board and the Tribe Board for providing me this wonderful opportunity and the scholarship that they granted me to be able to uh, fulfill my dreams in becoming a biology teacher. By getting the scholarship, you know that other people are actually paying attention to you and they actually do care about you. Being the first generation student to graduate from high school and to go to a college in the United States is a big step for me 
and for my whole family just to show that anything is possible.